Hi, and welcome to the Jellyfish web series. Welcome to WordPress. We're going to start off with just some very basic information about what is involved with the WordPress platform, what it looks like, what kind of things you're going to see as you log in once you have a site set up on WordPress. Now, if you look at my screen right now, we're going to be using our site called Playground. And this is just a site we've set up for us to play around with while we're looking at uh, these different things in WordPress. So we can play around and try all different kinds of stuff. So this playground won't always look the same in all our videos. Right now we have a theme installed. There's a little bit of color and a few things, but really this is pretty bare bones. We just have one post and one page and not a lot of information. So right now we're logged in to our playground site and you know we are because at the top of my screen here you can see the toolbar that WordPress gives you. Whenever you're signed in on your site you'll be able to see this toolbar and it gives you just quick access to some things that you might need. Starting on the top left, if you put your mouse over you'll see a bunch of links to WordPress. Moving over to our site called Playground, you here have some shortcuts to your main menus in WordPress. Moving over this little circly round thing, uh, this is where you can go to find updates. Right now I apparently have five plugins and or themes that could be updated. Moving over to the little caption box, this is where I can go to see about pending comments or to edit my comments. Over here, the plus new, once I scroll over it, I can add a post, a page, um, any kind of media, which means a picture or a video, as well as a new user for my site. And finally, over here you can see this edit. So if I'm looking at a post while I'm on my page and I realize that something's wrong with it, I can really quickly go into my edit post screen when I have that post pulled up. Now next here you'll see this little uh, set of dots and a couple little bars. If you have Jetpack installed, Jetpack is going to give you some basic site stats. So here we have just little bar graphs representing 48 hours worth of visitors. As you can see, since Playground isn't open to the public, um, it's mostly just empty with a couple uh, spikes when we have been on it and using it. Now if you go over to the far right hand side of your screen, um, you'll here get a link to your profile. This is our admin profile. And then finally a search box. Now we're not going to be using this too much because really uh, this is this page as it's set up and we want to look at behind the scenes of WordPress what you're going to see as the user. So I'm going to go up to the top of my screen and switch tabs here where I have my dashboard from WordPress drawn up. As you can see, the toolbar here is pretty much the same as I just had when I was on my site, except there was no edit post because I don't have a post pulled up. When you log into a WordPress site, this is the dashboard that you will be taken to. This far left hand side has all your main menus. You'll be using these all the time and it's good to learn your way around them. In the middle of the screen, we have a few different boxes with quick reference for content. Here in the middle of my screen, my right now box has my posts, pages, categories, and tags, as well as my theme and what version of WordPress I'm using. Right over here is something you'll use a lot if you moderate comments. Um, this has all the comments I have on here, including pending comments and spam comments. And just as you can see, I can click on any one of these to see all the comments in that category. Now you may not have to do this because right below you'll see there is a recent comments box. And in here, any comment that's been left recently, I think it uh, can vary from uh, three or four that you'll see listed, you can immediately moderate. So I can see this comment, what they say, at least the beginning of what they say, as well as a little uh, toolbar where I can do what I want to with the comment. Unapprove it, reply to it, edit it, spam it, or trash it. Scrolling a little bit down, um, incoming links can show up here. Just so you know, I've never had much success seeing all the incoming links here, um, but if, you know, you may find some links coming in that way that you didn't see otherwise. Next we have a little plugin box. This is more a WordPress reference type of thing than something about your site, so you may just want to hide it. Below that we have some site stats which are again coming from Jetpack. 
Over here on the right hand side, back up to the top, we have the very useful quick press box where I can immediately add a post, including a post with pictures or uh, videos. In addition, I can add tags, I can save it, I can publish it, I can do all of that right from here without opening a new box. Below that I have drafts, so any posts you may have that you haven't actually published yet, you'll see there. It's really nice because if you have a post you're working on but haven't finished, it'll immediately be there when you need it in the dashboard screen. Scrolling down, here you have the WordPress blog. Again, this is a WordPress feature that I'm not going to use much, so I'm going to close it. Same with other WordPress news. So if I want to, I can move these around. Maybe I'll move my site stats below my recent drafts here uh, because that's something I'm going to be more interested in than the WordPress information that was below that. So these are your basic pieces of information on your dashboard. Over on the left hand side there are several menus that we're going to be going through in our upcoming videos. These are going to be the places that you go to get almost everything for your blog done, including adding content via posts, pages, adding images or videos, uh, moderating comments, changing the look of your blog, adding features to your blog, dealing with widgets, setting uh, different things like color and all sorts of pretty much anything you can imagine is going to happen all through these little things right here. So if you'll stick around and keep watching our upcoming videos, you'll be able to get some more information. But for now, here is what WordPress will look like for you, the brand new user. Thanks and we'll be back.